Hi, this is Paul from paulgrubby.com. I wanted to give you a quick example video and do lots of these using the X-Brand Elgo. Uh, this is for Euro Japanese Yen. First of all, I just wanted to reiterate the importance of these linear support and resistance zones. Go to your 60 minute time frame, and I'm gonna do further videos and live streaming on this on um, the um, on TradingView. But we, we got to put these zones in which, which picks up highs and lows uh, and really a, a, a zone of price where decisions are made. So this is the hourly for Euro Japanese Yen. Put this, you see the support in here, support again, support again. To support the top of the zone here, support at the bottom of the zone. So that actually gives us the framework for that zone for the high and the lows. The same with these here, all these supports at the top here and then we get a big rejection doji down here as well gives us great uh, zone to pull in so once we've done that on our alley and we have to frame our charts before we do any trades we then get signals on specific time frames okay so this was an example um, of a six uh, uh, sorry I put it on the five minute but really was the three minute that uh, I took the signal on give an example of how I set this up. The first thing to do is look for the stop. There's two options here. We get a five star sell here and then a six star. I took the five star and I wanted to keep the top night stop nice and tight after this little bullish move here. And my entry was going to be basically just below the close of that candle. Okay. And then I work out my risk to reward. I use the fib extension tool. It's a three clicker if you like. So if I take this off now and do it all over again, I use my fib extension tool so I click on the stop I click on the entry move it across on the entry and click again okay so now I've got a risk to reward of one to two to this major support and resistance zone on the 60 minute time frame there's enough fresh air in there for a trade we've got a great looking trade we're just going below these this pivots after this slight pullback here we've got a five star once we're in the trade we get a six star gives us lots of confidence and it runs all the way into that support and resistance zone what i wanted to do is really highlight the importance of the linear support and resistance zones and then looking at recent pivots for your stop and your entries nothing more complicated than that the complicated stuff happens behind the scenes in the algorithm you know it's literally 11 points of control decision points for that five star to be printed so all that work's been done for you then six star 12 decision points have been met before it prints that so all of that uh, work has been done behind the scenes what you need to do is make sure you've got enough risk to reward select where your stop is and your entry is and make sure you really spend some time putting those linear support and resistance zones from the 60 minute time frame on everything that you're trading so when you get those signals on the expert algo you know if you've got enough risk reward enough fresh air to make that trade work hopefully that helps and do lots of more of these videos